Wavy Media Production presents Acapella Gospel Music Blast with your host, Stevie V. Playing your favorite acapella music from the world's greatest acapella artist. Sit back, relax, and listen to the sweet sound of voices. We're flying at 30,000 feet, and you're riding with Stevie B. You can call into the live show, 713-955-0508, or email us, butlersteve1009 at yahoo.com. Contact us. Let us know who's riding with Stevie B on the blast tonight. This is the Acapella Gospel Music Blast, and you're listening to Stevie B. This radio show is the 2022 recipient for the Nakama the National Academy of Christian Acapella Music Artists Award for Outstanding Achievement in Record or Radio. This radio show is being broadcast from Stevie B Media Production at the Carolina Studio. In the great state of North Carolina, this is Stevie B. And I'm the blaster master of acapella gospel music. And according to the late wife Vaughn, the general Connor from Dayton, Ohio, she said Stevie B is the hardest working Christian DJ in the world today. May the good Lord have mercy on us all. That was my dear sister right there. I have a quote from he says Jesse Marat from Straight Company from Louisville, Kentucky. He was on the show as the producer for Acapella Group Divine Experience with one of the lead vocalists, Brandon P.K. Smith from Tampa, Florida. He says, he said, I really appreciate this quote from he says, he said, my radio voice, <laughs> my energy, my creativity is refreshing and nobody does it better because nobody's gonna outwork me. I have a quote from Brian Malone from Committee Acapella Chorus from Rogersville, Alabama. He says, Stevie B is the hardest working man on the radio. I have a quote from Thurman Meadows from Temple, Texas. He says, Stevie B is the hardest working man in acapella music. On. I have a quote from late the late Irvin C. Jackson from Wesley Chapel, Florida. He says, Stevie B is the greatest and the hardest working man. He said, I consider you to be the lighthouse of acapella gospel music. I have a quote from Mr. Uwe himself, Dorian Paul from Houston, Texas. He said, Stevie, we need you. We need you, Doc. Don't you go nowhere because we need you. I have a quote from my dear brother, Jeremy Roberts from I Virginia. He said, Stevie B is the hardest working man on the radio, period. That's what he said, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just Telling you what they say. <laughs> I will quote from my dear brother, Anthony Blunt. He's the radio host of the Gospel Train. It airs on Sunday morning on Facebook Live at 7.30 a.m. And this show also airs on 94.7 FM, WWBC 1510 AM in Rockley, Florida. He said the same thing during our interview on his radio show. So it must be some truth to it. I have a quote from Kenneth Ray from Made New Acapella Ensemble from Louisville, Kentucky. He says, Stevie B is the hardest working brother in acapella music. On the ones and two. Several quote from comedian Tim Project from right here in Fayetteville, North Carolina. He said, There are many great Stevies in the world, like Stevie Wonder that made nothing but classics in the music game. But you also need to know about my guy that's killing the radio game. My guy. Stevie B. I have a quote from Cali JT from Los Angeles, California. He's with our fellow group Exodus 2.0. He says, Stevie B puts the A in acapella music. Stevie B is awesome. Stevie B is amazing. Now, I have a quote from Al Pratt. He's the founder of the Camo Awards. Now, I'm, I'm going to do this quote in Al Pratt's voice. He said, Stevie B, the acapella DJ, often imitated but never duplicated. Not only is he the hardest working, I'm telling you, he's the smartest working DJ in acapella music. Stevie B. Now, that's in Al Pratt's voice. <laughs> now, I have a quote from my dear brother Ali Zell from right here in Fayetteville, North Carolina. He says, Stevie B is the mouth of acapella gospel music. And I have a quote from Hammond Burke. This is the last quote from Hammond Burke. He's the creator of the Shellcaster Network, and he's from Plano, Texas. He says, Stevie B is the ambassador of the world of acapella. I like that. Stevie B's acapella gospel music blast. 
All right, let me get this big iron bird on up off the ground. I rubbed my two little coins together and bought me an airplane. But you can't be the blaster master unless you're dropping bombs on your radio show. I said boom boom. Ladies and gentlemen, we are taking back Friday nights for the Lord. Oh, yes, we are. For the next two hours, I'm going to play some of your favorite acapella gospel songs from such artists as Straight Company, Dorian Paul, Commander of Power Cars, and many, many more. We for our listeners tonight. You can give me a call to the live show at 713-955-0508. I can go to my, uh, send your emails to my new email address, butlersteve1009 at yahoo.com. Let me know who's riding with me on the blast tonight. I'm trying to lift up your spirit with these inspirational songs on a Friday night. That's right. It's Friday night. And Stevie B is playing acapella gospel music. So turn up your spiritual ears. Stevie B's acapella gospel music blast. On tonight's show, ladies and gentlemen, I'm counting down my top 20. On Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. I'll be featured on the show tonight, my funny bones. You know I love those comedians. Also, my song of the week. So you got Stevie B loose in the booth on the ones and twos. Stevie B's Top 20 Countdown Show. Down show. Acapella Gospel Music. So who's on the playlist tonight? I'll be playing some new singles as I go through my top 20 countdown show. The Spiritual Night gets rebooted out of Houston, Texas. My man Shano out of Hollywood, Florida. George G from West Palm Beach, Florida. Ever see Jackson, late Ever see Jackson from um, Wesley Chapel, uh, Florida. And Anthony Tony Carter out of Chi-Town. Lisa Cooper out of Memphis, Tennessee. Straight Company out of Louisville, Kentucky. Vision out of Houston, Texas. And many, many more. Enjoy the ride, ladies and gentlemen, on the blast tonight. Stevie B is on the air. Stevie B's Top 20 Countdown Show. show. Acapella Gospel Music. Number 20. Holding down my 20th slot for 33 weeks is Dwayne Pugh from Brad and Brad MacArthur, both from Dallas, Texas. Their single, Give Love, in the 2019 album, Life in Music. We debuted that album here on this broadcast. Episode 177. Also did a recorded version of that live show here on Blog Talk Radio. That's episode number 37. Enjoy my number 20 song by Dwayne Pugh and Brad MacArthur. You guys, Stevie B on the ones then. Oh, 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 it was just an ordinary day. Number 20. Nothing special about it. I got a call on the phone that said, turn on the news and watch it. Your way, I'm trying to stay. I respect the fact. 
Gospel Music Blast. Number 19. Holding down my 19th slot is my man, Teray Mack from Jacksonville, Florida. His single, Kind of Love. You're going to love this song. This song features Amber Ball from Greensboro, North Carolina. She's a member of Teray in the Acapella Group Testament, Acapella Ensemble. And this single is from this 2019 EP entitled Rich. We debuted that EP on this broadcast, episode 146. Enjoy my number 19 song by my man, Teray Mac. Mac music on Number 19.
Genesis Archer from Jacksonville, Florida, and you're listening in to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Number 18. Well, number 18 started the Spiritual Nightingales Rebooted out of Houston, Texas. They have a new single, If You Travel This Road, from the 2020 album Spiritual Nightingales Rebooted. And we did an exclusive interview with Elmo Adams Jr. That's Steve Adams' father here on this broadcast. It was over 205. That brother brought me to tears on this show. That was a great show. Enjoy the number 18 song by the Spiritual Nightingales Rebooted. Number 18. If you travel this road, you'll have a trial. Sometimes you're up, Lord. Sometimes you die. Help you travel this road, you have a trial. You have trouble on every hand. Lord, temptations and hidden snares. They often take us unaware And we'll wonder why the tear When we're trying just to do our best But if you travel this road you'll have A trial Sometimes you're up, Lord Sometimes you die Help you travel the road you have A trial you have Trouble on every hand Well, I walk down to the railroad Yes, I stepped up to the track Well, I saw that Big light coming You ought to see me moving back When they talk about your face I can taste just as much as I please If you want to beat me racing You have to fall on your bed Lord, if you travel this road, you'll have a trial. Sometimes you're up, Lord. Sometimes you die. Help you travel the road, you have a trial. You have trouble on every hand. It's your girl, Tony Washington, from Johnny Acapella. And you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Play. Spinning on the ones and twos, it's Stevie B, the blast of massa of acapella gospel music. Number 17. Pulling down my 17th slot is my man Shano out of Hollywood, Florida. He has a new single entitled Your Love. And Shano's one of a former member of the Four Christian Stars. Enjoy my number 17 song. By Shano. Your love it means everything. It means everything. Yes. Number seventeen. Yeah. Your love it means everything. Your love. You never let me standing in my life. Always had a plan. No matter what I'm going through, always push me through. You never quit. Over me. 
that your love is enduring and hopeful, Lord. You said that your love is, it will never fail, oh Lord. I'm impressed every time I look at you. The late Linda Billy from Tulsa, Oklahoma. She was a member of my staff here at Stevie B's Media Production from the year 2016 to June of 2021. She wrote all the questions for the artists that we interviewed on this radio show. And we just want to keep our memory alive on this radio broadcast. Stevie B's Song of the Week. This week we are featuring Spiritual Nightingales from featuring Darian Jones from Los Angeles, California. We have a single from there. Miss 20, 2009 album Darren Jones presents Spiritual Nightingale Expression and we did an exclusive interview with Darren on this broadcast episode 242 and the single is My Everything Enjoy my song of the week
Stevie P's Song of the Week. Good day, family. It's your boy, George G, a.k.a. George G International, G-G-I-G to the double E. You're listening to the phenomenal sounds of a cappella gospel music blast where the bass note bumps and the E note jumps and the sopranos and the altos and the tenors make you sway. Oh, yeah, it's a head knocker, baby, and a rock and cheer rocker a cappella gospel music blast. Your host. Stevie B, spinning the voices that soothe the soul, flying at 30,000 feet, not missing a beat. A cappella gospel music play. I live in Nashville, Tennessee. I know I don't sound like I'm... All right, I could use a ride home, so thank you. Yeah. I know I don't sound like I'm from Nashville, but I grew up on the north side of Nashville. That'd be Chicago. So, we moved there from Arizona. I don't know if you've been to Arizona. This is the time of year to go, by the way. Don't go there in July and fall for that dry heat garbage they give you. I don't care how hot it gets in Phoenix in July, some pinhead will look at you and go, doesn't, doesn't feel 115, does it? Ah, it feels 285, sport. I learned something laying by a pool. It's time to get inside when your eyebrows burst into flames. Laying there, whoa. Time to go in, kids. Daddy's smoldering. Wife screaming at you, put your sunscreen on. For what, basting? Let's get out of here. Run with me, kids. God has abandoned this place. Run. Don't look back. You'll turn to salt. I read it in a book. Run. Run. And you hear about the health benefits. That's why old people move to Arizona. Apparently, it's healthy living inside a volcano. And they're right. I wasn't there two days and the water on my knee evaporated. And I live near Sun City, Arizona. I don't know if anybody's been to Sun City. Retirement community, the people that live there, are, are seniors retired. I tell you this, I, 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 they drive golf carts around the town. Golf carts. And I'm telling you this because I actually saw a golf cart overturned in a ditch. <laughs> All right, you're good people. You're as sick as I am. I remember. That was pretty much my reaction to that tragedy. Someone lost control of a golf cart. Are you kidding me? At what point do you voluntarily just hand over your driver's license? How'd you like to get the black box back from that one? The pedal stuck. I'm doing 11. 12. I'm up to 14. I can't hang on. Tell my wife I loved her. <laughs> It'd be easy on the cops. I could just run next to you. Come on, pops, pull it over. What's the rush? I got you doing nine and a six. But I'll take the heat over the cold. I grew up in Chicago. I thought I knew what winter was until I went to North Dakota. If you ask me, we can give North Dakota to Canada. I don't think we'll miss it. <laughs> it was 83 degrees below zero. Below zero. That means it can warm up 
83 degrees in one day and still be zero. Oh, get the storm windows off, honey. I'm boiling in here. It's got to be zero out there. I saw a guy jogging. I'm on my way to work at night to a club to work, and this guy's jogging in 83 below zero weather. He's out running the street. I have to tell you this from my heart. Never in my life have I had a stronger urge to run over another human being with my car. <laughs> and he would have thanked me. I know he would have. I don't get jogging. People that do it must love it. you got to love it. I mean, I, I've tried it. wasn't very good. I'd run a mile. I'd buy half a dozen donuts and then walk home. I ran every day for eight months and gained 31 pounds. That jogging will pack on the flab, trust me. So a friend of mine who's one of these avid runners says, your problem is you don't have enough information. If you understood more about it, you would enjoy it more. Bought me a book on jogging. They write books on how to jog. How intellectually deprived do you have to be to not be able to figure out how to jog? Where do you run into problems while you're learning? Oh, gee, I'm skipping again. <laughs> Boy, honey, there's a lot more to this jogging than meets the eye. Are there people in America so dense they see runners on the horizon? How do they do that? There's got to be a book. The book is that sick, which means they fill it with information you'll never use just to make a book. They had one chapter devoted to how to train for a marathon. Are you kidding me? Like I'll ever live 26 miles from a donut shop. <laughs> Why else would one run that far? <laughs> Some of the information I used, they tell you what to do if you're ever out jogging and a dog chases you. They tell you not to try to outrun the dog because the dog will catch you and bite you. So this is what you're supposed to do. You turn around, you face the snarly beast, Point your finger at him, apparently so he knows you're talking to him. You don't want any confusion out there. You know, an armadillo could zip by and you got chaos. After you point, you stomp your foot and you scream, free! The loud voice is supposed to scare the dog. He will know you're the one in charge. Yeah. So I'm out jogging one morning, and trust me, this is the pace I jog at. I, I didn't want to break a sweat while I was out running because that's annoying. And I got in my zone, and you runners know what a zone is. That's where your thoughts just become so focused on one thing, and I'm thinking, glazed. I'm going to get a glaze, a cinnamon roll, and a buttery croissant. From my zone, I get awoken by this vicious sound. I stop running, and I turn around, coming down the street, full bore, with his teeth flared. These are teeth. It's this tiny little three-legged dog. He's missing his right front leg, and he is motoring, Jack. He's like... <laughs> well, perhaps I'm a tad warped, but I thought it was the funniest thing I'd ever seen. I, I couldn't get freeze out. I was pointing at him and spitting at myself, just laughing. He kept coming. <laughs> and then he got close enough to me, I got nervous. And like the book said, I stopped my foot, I pointed, and I would freeze! The dog stopped! and then began to tip where the leg was missing. <laughs> and you can see it in his eyes. Oh, not again, man! Stevie B's Funny Bones. <laughs> Stevie B's Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. I hope you're enjoying the flight tonight. On the blast, I'm playing some of the world's greatest acapella gospel music artists, the sweet sounds of voices. We're flying 30,000 feet, and I'm dropping bombs everywhere. Countdown show. Countdown show. Acapella gospel music. 
number 16. Holding down my 16 spot is called by God. <laughs> called by God, I follow someone out of Nashville, Tennessee. Their single, Clean Heart, from their 2019 album, For His Purpose. You're going to love this song. This song, this uh, album was produced by John Poo Malone. We debuted this album here on this broadcast, episode 134. Also did a recorded version of that live show here on Blog Talk Radio. That's episode number 32. Now, this group was also the 2022 recipient for the Nakama New Artist of the Year. Enjoy my number 16 song by Cole. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody out there need a clean heart? A fresh start? Number 16. Rock with it, homie. Hey, yeah, yeah. Just tired of messing up time after time. Coming to church. Going back to the same mess. This song's for you. Danielle, help us out with this one. Production presents 